They say there's no such thing as beauty in war. I have to disagree. Welcome to Squad version 7 of the Alpha and welcome to an absolutely beautiful map. Welcome to Gorodok. Gorodok has something for everybody. Whether you're mainly interested in being infantry or whether you want to be involved in logistics and vehicles, this map has it all. Long sweeping plains of countryside, long winding roads, plenty for the infantry to be able to get round and hide, but also many, many places where you certainly don't want to be caught out in the open space as the vehicles will just absolutely mow you down. Throughout the map are these small little compounds. Great for infantry to shoot out of the holes. There are pillboxes, there are blocked walls. There's also rocky outcrops spread throughout this map. So if you do find yourself out in the open, you can actually get to these and give yourself a little bit of safety. And they also give you some great line of sight for taking out vehicles. The train tracks cut throughout the middle of this map and we end up down near the river to this beautiful wooden bridge. And yes, we can fight on the train and on the bridge. And one little tip I will give you, watch your footing as not all the planks are even. Take that as a lesson learned. It's gonna hurt when you hit the bottom. The whole map is really diverse and lush, but it's really a green, beautiful map. And these are the sort of areas you're gonna be fighting in these small little villages. So again, infantry are gonna be hiding in these places vehicles are going to have to watch these extremely careful your squad will need to go in and clear these buildings out there's also a winding river that runs throughout the entire map it winds through and of course a lot of the vehicles now as the water is not extremely deep these vehicles can go straight through so don't think that these are going to give you any kind of protection whatsoever it would be nice if we had some ribs maybe to pass down there now I can honestly say that this map is really up there with Tanoa from Armour 3. I thought that map in Armour 3 was beyond any other kind of map that I'd seen or played in a first person shooter. But I mean even things like this, these pebbles on this beach look photo realistic. I'm not joking, this could almost be real. The map is absolutely stunning. And what you'll find is you'll actually get to a point where you actually don't need your compass. You'll be able to use the sun to guide you to tell you which direction you're facing in. That's how immersive this map is. Just walking through this map or driving through the forests, there are flowers, grasses and all sorts. It is beautiful. Thanks for watching. I've got a little bit of fishing to do. So if you don't mind, it's time for something to eat. See you in another video coming real soon. Subscribe, thumbs up and all that good stuff. I've been Paraplays. Bye-bye.